Gypsy Rose's estranged husband is speaking out and the tumultuous separation continues. We're going to talk about all of it in today's video. Hello Sofa Squad and welcome back to the sofa. Sofa's back there. Roscoe's on it. My name's Paul. I'm in front of it. Today we're going to be talking about Gypsy Rose. A couple of more updates with this. Uh, we'll also be looking at her estranged husband, I guess, or ex-husband process of, whatever you want to call it at this point. Ryan, he did speak out finally. Uh, we'll be talking about her new nose job, um, her restraining order. I mean, you name it, right? So the way we will be doing this is we're going to first start off by looking at the TikTok that Ryan did. We'll talk about that. And then look at a couple of news articles and review those. Now, if you do want to follow Roscoe and I outside the the tubes, where we're on the Insta, the gram, the Instagram, it's on the screen, it's in the description. Go on, give it a follow. Good Lord Almighty. Okay, let's start off by reviewing that TikTok that Ryan posted where he talked out, and um, then we'll talk about it. So let's just check it out. Hey, everybody. I just want to say thank y'all for the support and the, and the nice messages I've been getting from people. Uh, I'm out of friends watching WrestleMania right now. It's great. I'm enjoying it. You know, I've been a wrestling nerd for a long time. Uh, but I need to shave. But, um, you know, I just want to thank everybody for the support. It's been great. Uh, I'm just living my life, guys. Uh, Y'all will see what really happened on Lifetime. Uh, we were filming a lot. So uh, stay tuned for that. And I just want to thank everybody for the support. Uh, if you support me, follow me. I will post more stuff eventually. Uh, I'm just, just hanging in. I just want to say thank y'all to everybody. And, you know, God bless. Okay. So, let's talk about this for a second. Um, first of all, let's talk very quickly, side note, about WrestleMania. I used this many moons ago. I had an ex who was obsessed with that. And I kind of came to the decision, the conclusion, that WrestleMania was like just a dude's version of soap operas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there was just as much drama. It was like way beyond just wrestling, right? Um, so I think it's kind of cool that he watches that. I was like, oh, that's a flashback. But... Okay, so a couple of things with what he's saying here. Obviously, this is, you know, allegedly took him by, like, what? She left? She did this? Oh, my gosh. Um, he, you heard him say, we've been filming. Check it out. You know, it's going to come on Lifetime. Now, obviously, they're in contracts. They can't be talking about this stuff or whatever until it happens. But it always makes you wonder what's really going on, what's real, what's not, that what is fictionalized, what's dramatic, all this kind of stuff for the TV show, you know what I'm saying? Now, clearly there's enough evidence of her going around town doing all this stuff that it definitely seems like she she gone, okay? I'm not trying to say that that didn't happen. You know, and obviously Ryan might be trying to like soft launch a little bit of a reality career himself because it's like, well, what do you do now? I mean, his whole life was kind of based around, not his whole life, but a lot of it was hung up with Gypsy when she got out. I mean, here you are immediately married to this infamous woman and it just takes your life by storm and then she up and leaves, right? So I feel bad. Now, remember, she also left the dog with him. You know, now granted, I would rather have the dog be with somebody who wants the dog than somebody who doesn't. I get that. But I was just like, damn, girl. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. But now let's read a couple of these articles and review them about her restraining order and all this kind of stuff. Because I'm just like, this is getting crazy. Okay, now on the screen, you're going to see this first article. And it's by AJ McDougall, uh, Breaking News Reporter, published April 11th, 2024. And it says, Gypsy Rose Blanchard files for restraining order against husband. Now, let's just get into it a little bit more. Now, it just says, uh, you know, according to documents obtained by People magazine, uh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard has re filed for a temporary restraining order against her, her husband, Ryan Anderson. Now, this comes just two days after she officially filed for a divorce, less than two years of marriage to Anderson. Um, and again, this is who she married behind bars and the whole nine yards. Now, it does say here towards the middle of the paragraph, the court records reportedly indicate that Blanchard is requesting Anderson pay interim and long-term spousal support because she is in need and defendant has ability to pay and she is not at fault for the dissolution of marriage. Uh, Blanchard announced her separation for Anderson at the end of March, just three months after her early release from prison. Okay. Now, now this, now this is where we're going to get into the whole what's real, what's not, whole nine yards, right? 
when she's talking about that I want spousal report, and again, we'll get the story because we don't know. We're going to read another article here in a second that is kind of a little bit concerning, but we'll get to that. You know, but the whole thing of like, oh, well, he needs to pay. I'm like, well, what money does he have that you don't? I mean, because I'm looking at it this way. I'm like, girl, you've got books. You've got TV shows. I mean, in my mind, I'm thinking, don't you have money? Like money, money? Not like she's got millions of dollars. But you would think she's doing the reality TV show. I'm sure they get paid a couple of thousand at least for per episode. So this is the part where I'm like, you know, are you not capable of doing that? It seems grimy is what I'm getting at. Um, because also it's just like, well, you've run off with this ex who you were already having flings with from behind bars. You know what I'm saying? Talking to him. I mean, that's proven. She came to Ryan and confessed that, that he's reaching back out and coming back around and the whole nine yards. And now she's out getting tattoos with them, smoking cigarettes outside the Dollar Tree, you name it. So this part seems very grimy to me, but before we continue, let's go to this next article. And this is where we're going to hear from one of her friends that talks about what took place. So it's up on the screen here, and you'll see it says up here, Blanchard's close friend and tattoo artist, Nadia Visor, 22, told people exclusively that the pair got into a heated argument the night Blanchard decided it was time to end her marriage. He got in her face and screamed, Visor said. Later, Adding, Gypsy said that she was afraid he was going to hit her. He didn't, but that happened in the past with her mother. So her first instinct was to tighten up and be prepared. But she got to safety and called her lawyer too. Ryan is a big guy and she told me it was really scary. Okay, now here's my thing. Interesting that she's bringing the mother back into this. Like, oh, well, I'm traumatized from the mother. And I 100% expect her to be, right? Um, but this right here... I don't know how much I believe this story the way it's being presented. Um, I have no doubt they probably got in a heated argument. It sounds like it came out of nowhere from her. They probably got in an argument and she ran with this or whatever. I've really tried to walk on the fence with the whole Gypsy Rose thing. And because honestly, it's one of these cases where, you know, the case itself was fascinating to me. But this drama that has ensued the second she got out of prison, you know, and it's just deteriorated. You know, I'm just like, okay, she's gonna, she's, you know, she's going to live, right? Um, and she's gonna make mistakes, but this just seems so messy, right? And for her, unfortunately, it's in the public sphere. So this part right here about like, oh, they got a face and did this and that. And again, I 100% expect, I'm like, I'm sure her mom did do that. And I would be tra traumatized from that too, you know, but I'm just like, okay, so then why are we... I guess my nosiness wants to know if you're saying it wasn't your fault that the marriage is ending, but in this article it says, and let me go back up here, uh, they got into a heated argument the night Blanchard decided it was time to end her marriage. So to me, I'm not reading this as they got in an argument, he did this, and then that made her decide she wanted to leave. You see what I'm saying? It's she told him they got in a heated argument and he got in her face screaming. You know what I mean? Um, now, again, does that mean that, oh, okay, it's better. He, never mind. He has permission to do that. No, I'm not saying that either. Um, I want to know how that went down. Like, what was the conversation from her to him? You know what I'm saying? Because, again, here's the other thing, too. Do I personally think she needed to be married rolling up out of prison? No, absolutely not. You know, but, again, it's not my life. It's not, it's, I'm nobody, right? Um... So it just seems like so much and that so many people, herself included, are just mired down with this. Now, maybe she's going to get with this new dude and then everything with the cookie will crumble where it needs to be. And unfortunately for Ryan, he kind of got duped, you know, which is what it's starting to look like. Now, let's do this real quick. Let's go to, let's talk about her nose for a second. It's back in the damn news. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, and all this is right here is just this TMZ article. TMZ's on it, y'all. But also... I would argue that she's probably talking to TMZ um, and selling these pictures because it's almost like where she's at taking these. It looks like the Dollar General because I think that's her grocery cart. Um, she's also in the store. And I'm like, so you're in the store kind of with an up close posing for this picture. You know what I mean? It's almost like, are you getting paid for this girl? Which, hey get your money you know what i mean like do what you got to do um but it says gypsy rose blanchard shows off her new nose for the first time still healing post-op remember she got a nose job it's healing up for her and for people who are because there's like two camps there's like the camps of she shouldn't be out she did this and there's camps of let her live or whatever you know 
she will never escape this infamy. So for people feeling like she got away with something, she might not be behind bars, but trust me when I tell you, she is living in a personal jail still of some sort. She has more freedoms than she did and whatnot. I get that. I'm not trying to say any of that, but this is not like somebody who just got to walk out. Like she is going to be under scrutiny probably her whole life. She's in the room, but not a hundred percent on the same side of the room with the Casey Anthony's like it's in that realm of like, you know, um, because the difference here is that not everybody is like Casey Anthony, pretty much most people are like, oh my God, how did this happen? Why did she got away with this? There's a lot of people who don't feel that way about Gypsy. You know, it, it is what it is. I mean, the, you can't deny that Gypsy suffered at the hands of her mother for years and years and years and years. I think the argument and the separation is how she handled it towards the end of what she did. And now she's getting out and everybody's kind of viewing her actions, you know, and be like, well, she did this and she used Ryan and she did that. And maybe she is right. Um, who's to say, but, but the articles that are coming out, I'm just like, oh this tv show is going to be off the chain okay when it does come out so let me know what you think if you're still watching i do appreciate it ross gonna says thank you i really appreciate it yep yep yeah, i do he does ask that you drop some sofas down in the comment section so that he and i can come down there hang out on the sofa talk about this case and others and until we do phew, We'll see y'all soon. I just wanted to say thank you again for watching the whole video and also thank you for being part of the Sofa Squad. Special thanks to all the Patreon members, channel members from both of my channels, everybody who likes, shares, subscribes, comments in the comment sections. It helps the channel out so much. Now don't forget, I do have that other channel, the podcast channel. That's where we go live, we hang out, we talk. Uh, we have kind of sort of a schedule, but just be sure and check it out. I'll put it up here on the screen. Also, if you're looking for merch, be sure to check out my Teespring store i'll put that up here and then like i said in the beginning of the video if you want to follow me and roscoe on the insta on the gram on the instagram go on check it out it's right here on the screen again but once again thank you very much i really appreciate you being part of the sofa squad and i'll see you in the next video